everyone, I'm Maureen Backman. I'm the founder of the Muzzle Up Project. And this video is gonna talk about food <laughs> and different types of food and food delivery that you can use to make your muzzle training easier and more enjoyable for your dog. So of course, the first thing to remember when talking about food is that you want something that your dog loves, okay? Um, so figure out what your dog really finds motivating. It could be hot dogs, it could be cheese, it could be baby food, um, it could be peanut butter. Um, every dog has a little bit different preference, so every dog is different. One thing I would recommend is if you're choosing food, choose food that is soft, a little bit squishy, and goes down easy. And the reason I say that is because sometimes have a, a, a learning uh, process that they have to go through when they first um, take food through a muzzle. So I found that if I use really crunchy treats or ones that spill crumbs, what will happen is the muzzle will, um, well the food will fall through the muzzle and then the dog will get a little frustrated because all of a sudden he's lost his crumbs and he wants to be able to pick them up. Um, and my goal when muzzle training is to reduce frustration as much as possible. Because um, you want it to be an enjoyable experience, not a frustrating experience for your dog. And there's my dog Earl, because he knows I have a plate of food. Um, so what I have here are some different options. One of my favorites is peanut butter or cream cheese. And the reason for that being that it's super easy for a dog to lick. You can put it right on the inside of the muzzle to help um, your dog start to learn to put their snout through the muzzle. Um, what you can also do is you can put it on a lid and then you can take the muzzle itself and put the muzzle on top of the lid and then you can put that on the floor and your dog can learn to self-muzzle um, while licking the peanut butter. And I'll go through in a future training video, but it's also helpful because then you don't have to worry about the feeding and you have two hands available for the straps because if this were the floor and the muzzle was on the floor, now I have two hands available to buckle the straps versus having to feed and hold the muzzle and then somehow magically <laughs> buckle the strap with my non-existent third hand. Um, uh, you can also use a squeeze tube if you want to deliver the peanut butter through as well. So any type of squeeze tube will do. Um, hot dog spaghetti is also um, a really helpful tool. So you can cut your hot dogs thin, you can slice them like this, and then if you take the muzzle, and especially if you're using a muzzle with somewhat smaller treat delivery holes, what you can do is you can fit this right through the hole. Um, and what's nice is the treat is long enough, the dog can slurp it up and eat it. And again, you don't have to worry about frustration of having some food, trying to smoosh it in. The dog's trying to get the food, it gets frustrating, your rate of reinforcement's going down, it might mess up your timing with your training. Um, this really helps make it a lot easier. And you can adjust the width of the hot dog to make sure it matches the width of your muzzle. Um, I also like things that are really fit like Parmesan cheese. Um, this is just shaved Parmesan. And for muzzles like this Italian basket one, where um, if you could obviously, you know, um, like I mentioned before, cut a little treat delivery hole through the front, but you can also just easily fit these thin paper thin shreds of Parmesan through the muzzle. And Parmesan tends to be something that's really, really reinforcing for dogs. Um, so those are my go-to options. And again, what I would recommend is figure out what's really motivating for your dog, because obviously you want to use a food that your dog likes. Um, make sure that it's something that you can reinforce and you can deliver easily so that it doesn't get in the way of your mechanics. Um, because of course, when you're doing muzzle training and muzzle training plan, the last thing you want is to have to be fumbling for food or to have your dog be frustrated or get a delayed reward. Um, and then, yeah, make it fun, make it innovative, and uh, have some fun with it. Thanks.